Hi guys, it's uh, Bob from Greybeard Models. Uh, welcome back. And this is part two of the tow truck build, the Mini Art Kit 35351. Um, where we left it last time, we were looking at adding some parts into the engine detail. So I've made a start on that. So uh, let's get onto the green mat and then I can show you what we've done. So the first thing that I did was mock up the front end of the motor. Um, so I've added the fan belt um, and put that in position. It's held in place with PVA glue and a little bit of white tack there just to keep that in a sort of vertical position. But by doing that, we were then able to locate the generator there in the position that it will be at. But as you can see, uh, with this kit, it's a bit ridiculous that, that you've got um, that generator sort of hung out in the air, um, according to the reference drawings that we had a look at last time. Um, there is actually a bracket that holds the front of the generator um, onto the front of the engine block um, using that bolt there. So having, having located that there, managed to take some measurements and I've made it's going to be awkward to pick this up but we will anyway I've made this uh, this little bracket I don't know if the camera will focus on this but uh, yeah we made this uh, little bracket up let's, uh, let's put something behind it and hopefully you can see it better there you go so that, that, I've made that little bracket and that bracket will locate on the fixing bolt that's on the front of the, the motor in there and will also fit around whoops tiny this stuff especially when you're on camera um, and will fit around the front of the generator there and that will make sure that uh, it looks better it's got it's got a mounting bracket there's a little bit of trim around the side here just want to just file that round just round that off but that's that that first bracket and uh, once I've done that I'll come back with the second bit which is there is also an adjusting you know, see it's come out of position but there's also an adjusting strap that goes from I think that bolt there across the generator which allows the generator to flex in and out as I said in the last video I'll come back in a second and show you the next stage well while I was um, waiting for the engine parts to be prepared for paint or while well, I was preparing them for paint I thought uh, as they were all in black um, I'd get on and start on the chassis and get all of that um, and I spotted a bit of a problem um, I don't know if it has occurred in the other gas truck kits <coughs> excuse me but I've noticed it here on this one in section 3 sorry section 4 these two parts here, FA8 and FA11, according to the diagram, FA11 goes into that hole there. And FA8 goes into that hole there. And that's an error. Um, if you look at this part here in section 5, which is the other strut from the chassis, you'll note that FA11 goes into the small hole there and FA8 goes into the square hole there. And that's because FA8 clamps FA11 
up against the chassis and FA11 and then suspends the leaf spring and the same that's what should happen here um, what they've done is they've actually extended the, the arrow better get that back in shot what they've actually done is, is extended the arrow instead of stopping there at the hole that's in, in the chassis there they've gone on to a point to that it's just just one of those things I think they've just extended the line too far and when you when you look at the subsequent drawings here you'll note that 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 suspension or leaf spring suspension is actually held in place by those two brackets and the same would apply for there and I looked ahead and all of the <coughs> excuse me all of the chassis drawings up to this point show this side of the chassis but in actual fact what this is showing is you know the reverse of that side you can't actually see that side until you get to this drawing here in section 12 and again in section 13 wh where you've now got a view of the chassis with the springs in place so what you need to do is instead of putting that number 11 into that hole there um, you put it into that hole there and it's held in place by that that bracket and and unfortunately I followed the instructions so I made a bit of a boo-boo there but I was using Tammy R extra thin and as you're probably aware <coughs> God, God, clear my throat today um, as you're probably aware if you apply a little bit of extra thin after it after it's stuck if it hasn't stuck for too long it, it will actually release it release the glue it'll it'll reactivate the glue and you can pull that part out and quite i was quite lucky and i actually managed to pull that out and put it into the correct place and then get the whole of the the leaf spring assembly in place but um good job spotted that and uh hope you don't fall into the same trap so let's move on well, as you probably know I've got other other sort of the gas trucks uh, Ford AA um, and there's a nice picture on the front of this kit which actually shows the the, the suspension unit there um, I've looked at the instructions in this this kit this is uh, the gas MM mod 1941 truck it's kit number 35130 and the same error is in the drawings and the instructions and I looked at this kit the 1.5 ton railway truck AA type this is kit number 35265 and again the artwork on the front of the box if I can get rid of the glare you can see here how the, how the suspension there is is supported and it's really really obvious there however the instructions in this are also wrong so beware if you have if you have one of these kits um, as I go through those builds I will be highlighting the issue in the instructions so uh, let's move on so um, finally um, we've got the uh, <coughs> engine mounted in the chassis um, and currently just uh, painting in a little little bit of weathering not too not too heavy um, at this stage anyway and uh, got the distributor in place got to do the spark plug leads uh, at some point um, in fact I'll probably get those done later on today but uh, yeah so that's the chassis partially built 
the hardest bit now is to actually build the underside um, with the with the engine in place um, and I need the engine in place to do the underside so um, I think that's it for now um, hope you enjoyed this video sorry it's been a bit late coming out but uh, yeah I hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll see you again soon bye for now